Good morning, class. Welcome back to our online class and meet me again, Teacher Morey. So today, for session, we will learn together about grammar planet one, right? So normally, we learn about grammar and some words that we need to learn in this book. So now I want to review the words that you have learned with me last time. Great. Today, we will review five words together, everyone. Flag, flag, chocolate. Chocolate, waffle, waffle, squirrel, squirrel, take it, take it again, flag, chocolate, waffle, squirrel, take it. Can you tell me the word flag? Flag is a piece of clothes. That represent a country or a nation, right? For our flags, we have color red, color blue, and color white. How about chocolate? Chocolate is the sweet of food made from cacao seed. Number three is waffle. Waffle is a kind of bread that made from the mixture of milk, water. Flour and sugar, right? How about number four? Squirrel. Squirrel is a small animal that has long tail. It lives in the trees. Number five. Take it. A piece of paper that make you, that allow you to join the show or. Some events. Great, everyone. Read together. Flag, flag, chocolate, chocolate, waffle, waffle, squirrel, squirrel, ticket. Okay, everyone. So after you have reviewed the five words with me already, you have understood more deeply about. The definition as well. So now it's time for us to start our lesson today. So today we will learn about Unit 13. I can swim. Page 57, 58. As you can see here today, we will learn about how to use can in question. And these are the example, and we will learn together. Everyone, please read with me. Modal verbs. Modal verbs. Can question. Can is called modal word, right? We will use it in question. This is a form. Great. Read the form with me. Can plus subject pronouns. I, you, we, they, he, she, it plus verb one. Again. Can plus subject pronoun. I, you, we, they, he, she, it plus verb one. Great, everyone. So these are the sentences. Please read with me. Ducks can swim. Ducks can swim. They can cook food. They can cook food. She can speak English. She can speak English. So these are alphabetic form. How to use can in alphabetic form, right? So what we need to do here, we need to change this alphabetic form to question. How can we change? We need to look at the form. So I will number for you. We put can first, and then we put subject pronouns. The last one we put verb one, right? So follow the form together. That can swims. So you can move can to put in the beginning of the sentence. Can, okay, first, and then subject pronoun. Sorry, we need subject that, right? Can that swim? Can that swim? Do not forget question mark. Great, we are done number one. Now number two, they can cook food. We follow the same form. Great. Can they cook food? Question mark. Easy, right? Great. How about the last one? She can speak English. Can, subject pronoun she, right? Subject pronoun she. Sorry, I need to give a little bit space here. Can she speak 
English? Can she speak English? Great, everyone. So now we have done all the sentences read together. Ducks can swim. Can ducks swim? They can cook food. Can they cook food? She can speak English. Can she speak English? Great, everyone. So after we have learned about our lesson focus today, now it's time for us to do exercise. You can turn on page 58. You will see the exercise that we are going to do together. Great, everyone. So read the instruction. We will do exercise C and exercise D. You need to look at your textbook, page 58. In exercise C, look at the picture and try to do the exercise using can or can't. Can or can't. Great. Take a look at the picture and fill in the blanks here by using can or can't. Great. For the first one, it is done for you. The first one is can't. Right? Can't. Can't. Great. So I give you five minutes to do this exercise. Let's start. Great, everyone. Welcome back. By looking at the pictures, I believe that you have filled in the blanks already by using can or can't. Great, everyone. So number two, Max can or can't. Great. Max can swim, right? Look at the picture. He can swim, right? How about number three? Can or can't? Great, we put can to create question, right? Can Andy hear the man? No, he. He what, everyone? He. He can't, right? He can't. So we need to sound at the end, right? Can't. And this one, we can sound it. Can, can, can't. Great, everyone. Number four, look at the ducks. So, can or can't? Great, we put can to create question. They can swim. Answer, yes, they, yes, they can. Great. Okay, everyone, so now we are done our section C. So we are coming to section D. Read the instruction and learn how to do this exercise. Unscramble and write. Look at the words, right? So we need you to unscramble the word to create the proper sentence. Great, everyone. So look at the picture and try to unscramble and write. Great, everyone. I give you five minutes to do this exercise. Let's start. Great everyone, so after you have spent five minutes to do this exercise, I believe that you have done it already. So now please check the answer with me. For the first one, it is done for you, right? So it is written can slash they slash fly. So we need to unscramble to make a correct sentence. So the correct sentence is they can fly, right? They can fly. It is done for you. How about the second one? Clam slash can't eat. So how can we do it? Look at the picture, everyone. It can't climb, right? It can't Climb. It means that it cannot climb, right? How about the third one? Can slash talk slash he. So this is question, right? How can we know it is question? Because you can see question mark. So now we create question sentence. Unscramble the word and create the question sentence. Great, we put can first, right? Can, and then we need to find out subject. So this is subject, right? Can. He, the last one is verb one. Can he talk? Don't forget question mark. Can he talk? Great. So number four. We ride bikes can. This is question negative or 
affirmative, everyone. This is question. How can we know? Because we can see question mark, right? So follow the form the same. We put can first, right? Can. And then we need subject. Where can we find subject? Yes, this is subject pronoun. We, right? Can we write bikes? Can we write by great everyone? So this is our lesson today. But before we end our lesson, please read the form one more time. Can plus subject pronoun I, you, we, they, he, she, it plus verb one. Great everyone. So I hope that today's lesson is very useful for you. You can do more exercises at home. Okay everyone, see you again in the second session. Goodbye.